Recorded live with little or no green screen. It's uh, defense up. I'm She-Hulk, as you can see. Uh, there's a long story to it, and you'd know all about it if you watched the stream recycle or if you just showed up to my Twitch streams Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can see me act like an idiot like this. And uh, we're, we're going to get right into it. We're going to get on five different criteria. It's who you're using, their placement, their power levels, their ISOs, and what kind of mood I'm in. I'm feeling a little insecure today, to be honest, because I'm dressed up like a woman with a beard and green face paint. Um, also, tomorrow's video, I'll be wearing the same getup because we record these two at a time. All right. So first up is Rude's defense spelled with two U's just to throw me off. All right. Uh, team number one, he's got uh, Eternals and who cares? Um, uh, I, I think this is a waste of an extra defense. He's got a really beefed up wave one Avenger team. And I think he should be using those uh, separately as its own as its own team. Uh, because wh what do I do with my hands? I can't. OK, uh, sorry. It's, it's weird being in costume. OK, so he, he should definitely split these up uh, into two different teams. You've got healer and healer on Hulk, but you're going to need a placement change. I don't think that these two should be together. I think you should just put them on a team that either has a pre taunting tank or some sort of a speed meta. Or you could go with the Uber defense if you're on AFK, which is going to be like Doom, Omega Red and Emma or or uh, you know, um, Kestrel or something like that. That's a huge waste of those people by putting them all into one defense. But if you're, you know, away from your keyboard, then that's the way to go. Um, however, I think this is a waste of the Wave 1 Avenger team. I don't think that they add anything. They're too slow to take advantage of what's going to come into this, which is going to be another Eternals team. Uh, the other Eternals team is going to come in with just an Emma. They're going to blow this team up, um, possibly killing somebody here. Although these are some big players, they can take a hit, so maybe. Uh, however, it doesn't really matter because it'll rewind the turn meter and they're gonna get killed. And you've just wasted your Wave 1 Avenger team, which could soak up, um, I'm guessing, a 600 level uh, team if you if you ran this Wave 1 Avengers. Maybe 500, I'm not, I'm not sure. It, it depends on what your other two people in that Wave 1 Avenger team are. So split them up into two different teams. For me, this is a C. It's a, it's a waste of your Wave 1 Avenger team. Otherwise, everything else is right. I mean, your placement's gonna be different with your Wave 1 Avengers, and your placement's gonna be different with your Eternals team. But the ISOs on these guys are, are great. I like the ISOs you're using. So split it up into two different teams. Team number two, uh, this is your Kestrel Secret Avenger team with Doc Ock in place of in place of um, in place of Fury, which this is fantastic. This is fantastic. You're putting extra blocks out on the field, although I don't think Sam needs them. Sam's going to block like 100 percent of the time anyways. So those deflects kind of get wasted on him. Let's swap places and put maybe. Um, I don't know, I'd like to see Kestrel getting some cover so that she doesn't get deleted because she's like a primary focus. You gotta get rid of her before she deletes you. And then maybe keep the blocks on um, on Maria Hill here. That way she can continue healing the rest of the team is, is probably a good way to go. Otherwise, Carter's another choice because Carter's another prime target. Uh, kind of dealer's choice, fiddle around with it, see what works best for you and report back to me. You got Striker, Skirmisher on those two. That's great, Striker on Kestrel, that's great. Healer. Uh, and healer, th that's good. You could bring up the ISOs on these people. I think these are prime candidates to be built up much higher. I think you're doing a great job though. Probably just a placement swap and I could give you an A as otherwise, I think this is a B plus team. Yeah, it's 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 pretty good. Um, remember to take your skirmishers to 2.3 before you take your strikers to 2.3. Okay, team number three. New Warriors plus Moon Knight and Loki. Wow, you are getting so many negative effects. Um, kind of depends on how fast Moon Knight pops off. If your hanger's down and he takes a while, he's probably just going to die from the splash damage of who you're going to take into this team. Also, I think a better tactic is to replace Moon Knight with, um, uh, with somebody like Drax or Red Guardian so that they can't go in and ability block or stun or kill Cloak or Dagger first. If you can get in in front of this team, which it is a small window, and Loki's helping to, to minimize that window, if you can get in in front of this team and kill Cloak before he blinds everybody, you've got a chance of taking this one down. Uh, and, and a pre-taunting tank is the way to go. I think Moon Knight isn't big enough to hang with these guys. I think that if the hanger is gone, he's not going to pop off early. If he does pop off, I don't think his negative effects are going to apply that well to what's coming into this team. And I think that... Um, 
I think that Skirmisher is an interesting choice for his ISO too. He should probably be a Raider. He's all over the place, bouncing around. Skirmisher Striker on these two, that's great. Striker here, Skirmisher here, that's great. Loki's just there for changing the speed. You can build Loki up. Sometimes him going off early, applying that defense down, applying a vulnerable, uh, it helps. So if he's built up a little bit, it, it doesn't hurt, but you don't have to. You can take him in like level one, just spawn in there for the, the speed meter change. So this this is okay. Um, yeah, I think, I think Moon Knight, it's a great idea if he had the power level to hang with these guys. But he's not worth investing in by himself. He's only worth investing in in his team. And I, I think that the Shadowlands team is is past its prime and, and we shouldn't really be building the Shadowlands team at this point. Um, uh, however, uh, I, I think the best bet is to replace this with a pre-taunting tank. So uh, all in all, it's, it's cool. And I like what you were trying to do, but his power level isn't enough to hang. So I'm gonna give you a B for this team. It was a nice try. Team number four is the Web Warriors. However, something missing, huh? I mean, we're really close, right? But something's missing. It's Ghost Spider, that's right. We replaced Ghost Spider with Ghost. I think they were trying to trick me. Um, close, close, almost did. So we definitely need to get Punk powered up. He's gonna need more stars, all that. Uh, Scarlet Spider is turning out to be one of the most important members with Ghost Spider being the most important in my opinion. That is arguable who should be the most, but I think both Ghost Spider and Scarlet Spider should be built up the biggest. Probably gear tier 14, level 75 across the board for this team is gonna get everything done that you need doing. Check back with me when I get into Doom 2.3. Um, however, I don't know what Ghost adds to this team. I really don't. I think, um, I, I, I think if it, maybe you missed out on the blitz and you were sick or something, I hope you didn't have COVID and you, you missed out on that blitz and you just didn't unlock Ghost Spider. Uh, it, it occurs to me that you might be a free to play OG player. Um, the, the way, you know, looking at the stars and the things that you have and how they're built up and stuff. I'm guessing that you're a free to play OG player. Um, or maybe a minimalist spender and you just don't have Ghost Spider unlocked because I can't imagine a place to put Gwen by herself when you have the rest of this team up and running to the level that you do. So I don't know, you might, you know, ask somebody for a gift card for your birthday and, and, and get Ghost Spider unlocked. Something. Because Ghost on this team is just... She's dodgy and she's prolonging the negative effects that are being applied. But honestly, like Ghost Spider is the one who's really spreading all those negative effects around in the first place. So if anything, replace Punk with Ghost with Ghost. Uh, I mean, it's, it, you know, if you don't have her unlocked, this is a thing to do and you got them on defense, you're doing what you can. It's kind of a filler. I'd really like to see you make those changes. Uh, bring up uh, Punk Spider. Um, let's see you. Oh, the ISO on Punk is wrong. You want him as a raider. Uh, I went healer on on Scarlet Spider, and I know a lot of people laugh at me, but I'm having extraordinarily surprisingly good results. I went 2.1 healer on Scarlet Spider, and this team is suddenly winning where they didn't used to. They're suddenly winning so much that I'm starting to recommend them on defense now, um, because the only thing they really beat, you know, that reliably beat on offense is the symbiotes and it's a, it's good if that's where you're going to use them if that's what you need them for then use them on offense but i'm suddenly seeing wow with that change in that iso my team is 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 beating uh all, all these other teams in rta on mirror matches on uh the x factor which i didn't think they could beat and now they're beating x factor all sorts of stuff and it and it happened when i changed that healer iso i'm not recommending the healer iso I'm saying I'm having good positive results with the healer ISO. I'm recommending Raider because everybody's recommending Raider. It seems like a safe bet. However, if you want to experiment, if you can spare those ISOs, I would say experiment with the healer and find out if you're going to get the same results. I need more testing before I can recommend that healer ISO, but it is it's worth a look. That's all I'm saying. It's worth a look. What's up, Pathfinder? Um, okay. So yeah, let's uh, flesh out that team. Definitely change him to Raider. Skirmisher's okay. I also like OG as a Raider. Striker is perfect. Skirmisher on her is what it is. Um, I think I kind of like, I like Striker on her for that basic. She comes back into those vulnerables and, um, and rewinds the turn meter. So I think she should be a Striker. So I don't like what you're doing with this team, really. I'm actually going to give you a C plus for this. Okay, team number five is a Weapon X team. Without Omega Red, you put in Jean Grey. I think that Jean Grey is gonna have some synergy with uh, Wolverine, obviously giving him some more damage, and that's okay, and this is somebody to put in there. 
if you don't have magic and you don't have the uncanny built up, then this is something to do with your Phoenix. I think it's fine. There's not a lot of synergy going on here, but it's something to make this team that much more deadly. Um, I think that a Secret Avenger team is probably going to take this out. You know, Dark Phoenix wouldn't be a problem then because she won't even come into the match. And you could probably try and like delete, maybe delete uh, Deathstrike there, Lady Deathstrike. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I, I would come into this with Secret Avengers with Kestrel and see if I could do some damage on it. But this is still a scary team. And let's see, you got Raider, Raider, Striker, Skirmisher, and Striker on her. I think those ISOs are fine. Alternatively, you could put Striker on Wolverine. You would have two people as Strikers and two people putting out Vulnerables, and you'd still be doing just fine. Um, but it's your choice. You've already got that invested all the way up, so probably don't change that. It's not worth switching. But for those of you building the team, I actually like him better as a Striker, getting to his ultimate that much faster because he has speed up on his counter assist. So for me, this is fine. You're doing everything fine here when you get Omega Red and put him in here in place of this. So for now, it's an A. I don't see anything wrong with it or anything that you should do differently. Um, well, okay, well, you could maybe make a placement change and get um, Lady Deathstrike, swap her places with uh, with Jean Grey there so that she survives a little bit longer. Let, let Jean die from the splash damage. But again, I think Secret Avengers are going to be the teams that take this one out. Okay, team number six is the Astonishing X-Men. Let's see, I don't like your ISO choices. Your placement is the second best placement. Um, also, I think with Kitty being geared up much less than the rest of the team, you should put Iceman next to Bishop instead and Kitty in the middle if you're gonna go with this setup. Honestly, what you should do is put Bishop in the middle with Kitty and Iceman on either side and Jubilee and Beast to the outside is the best placement. Also, I do think that everyone on this team should be Skirmisher except for Bishop as a striker. You've got this team built way up and your damage dealer is a Skirmisher and you are missing out on an absolute metric buttload of damage. So I think you should definitely change that. Even, even with the investment that you put in, I think you're wasting it. He is only good as a skirmisher at low power levels when you first start out this team and he puts out those vulnerables. Once you get him built up, you want him clipping people off of the screen. Um, you can keep Jubilee as a striker, mine's a striker. I wish I had gone with skirmisher, however, though. Um, also, Healer on Beast is the secondary choice. Again, everybody is a skirmisher, so I don't like your ISOs. I think your placement is secondary. I'm gonna give you a B minus for this and get some power put in Kitty. I know people are like, oh, she's the worst member of the team. She's totally replaceable. I'm telling you, I've got the team at even power and none of them are replaceable. I like running the full five everywhere. I, I think the full five is better than putting Omega Red in here in the raids and stuff. So I just think build them all up. Um, your choice, though. You want to leave her and sub her out for Omega Red when you, when you get him, then then that's that's the thing you can do. Other people are getting through things with Omega Red instead of her just fine, so it's a, it's a thing to do. You wouldn't be wasting anything by leaving her down, but I like, firstly, I like the full five. Okay, uh, team number seven. This is a Hella Hydra Inhumamerk 2.0. Okay, um, so what's going on here is you're trying to blow people up early and fast. Now, Taskmaster is not getting as much speed as he would if he had some mercs with him. He gets a percentage of speed, he gets a percentage for counterattacks, all sorts of things. So you're kind of debilitating him, taking him off of the mercs. However, he still does have a big AoE blind that's going to come into effect. Hell is going to pop off pretty early with her spreading the negative effects. I'm not sure how that times out if she's before taskmaster or after when he doesn't have any merc friends i'd have to check their speed you should just you know bring up their speed see who's faster um and then uh zemo's gonna pop off first clearing all those negative effects you have him as a raider that's fine if you're using him in arena i think that skirmisher is the way to go a level five skirmisher um but if you're not using him in arena then raider is where it's at striker on red skull that's cool raider on taskmaster for this build is okay i think that you should actually go striker for taskmaster on this build because then he's going into those vulnerables <clears throat> coming back and clearing stealing those positive effects um, you're gonna get more value out of that. I think Raider is the third choice. Skirmisher being the first choice when he is on his team full of mercs. Black Bolt is a striker. Fantastic. 
Um, and then, of course, Red Skull is going to come in. His opening move is going to give the entire team 30% more turn meter, making them go really fast. This is a fast team. It is dangerous. I think you're using a lot of parts that could be used in other things, but you're going for a really tough defense. So this is more of like an AFK build rather than um, something that's a very good use of your resources. It's going to be tough. It's going to require a big counter. Um, there's no minions in here, so bringing in your own Zemo doesn't help a whole lot. This is going to require a substantial uh, counter to come into it, so uh, it, it's solid. Uh, I, I think you should change that one. ISO, I don't see any reason for placement changes. Um, yeah, I think Hella is a liability, but this team is really fast and blows up really early. So you're gonna have to come in on a punch across with a symbiotes or an Axeman if you want them to stay alive long enough to clip a Greg and get their turn meter going. So I don't know, watch your history, see who's coming into this. If you're getting a lot of the punch across speed meta teams and they seem to be doing it pretty well, you might consider taking Hella out or if that's what your alliance wants and they want to soak up those speed meta teams, then this is a great one to do it because you're going to be pulling in the biggest speed meta teams with this. Um, otherwise, you know, some sort of a turn meter rewind team. I don't even know if a turn meter rewind team could get in here fast enough and slow them down. I don't know. This is pretty monster. It's it's going to be tricky to beat. So uh, I'm, I'm going to give you an A minus. I just don't like that one ISO. And I, I'm kind of skeptical about how many powerful members you're using in one spot. If they do find a good counter for this, it, you know, all those people dead in a one shot. And believe me, looking at this team, I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to mess around coming into this. I'm probably going to overcompensate and punch down into it with a big team. Okay, team number eight is a Doom Brotherhood Emirater kind of thing going on here. Um, Sinister is a healer, Emma is a healer, Strife is a fortifier. Then you got uh, Striker on Doom and Raider on Magneto. I love those ISOs. I think you should do a... Maybe do a placement swap with Emma and Doom. I don't know, it depends. If you want Doom taking some splash damage, uh, maybe that's the way to go. So I'm not gonna dock you for that. I think I think that could go either way, really. I think it could go either way with your placement. Otherwise, I think everything in this team is fantastic. I think this is a great use of, of these members. I think you've still got the blinds with Magneto as a, as a plausible threat. You've got a great big strife. People are going to be absolutely stuck on that strife. You're going to have to come into this with like a Zemo to clear that taunt. Um, ability block Doom. Ability block Emma. So this is going to be like a, you know what this is going to take? It's going to take a team like this to beat it, honestly. You'd have to come in there with Zemo, spread the, the, the ability block with Hela, something like that. So this is a crazy good team. I like it. And I like everything that you're doing here. I'm going to give that an A. All right, team number nine is the Fantastic Four with Silver Surfer. Now, I was doing some research. I don't know if Reminex is still in chat or not. Maybe he would know. Um, the kit reads on She-Hulk, the lovely She-Hulk. The kit reads, if these people get hit with a negative effect, it adds a charge to her. So the way it reads, you would think to put She-Hulk in the center. But some people are telling me that it's not working that way. And that like if, if uh, say Thanos comes in with his basic and puts bleeds on three people, you get one charge. I, I have yet to be able to test this in, in, in like war and, and find out how it's working. But I was originally recommending putting She-Hulk in the center based on the way the kit reads. But as we know, the way it reads, the way it works, and the way they want it to work are three different things. So who knows? I'm not going to dock anybody for putting her off to the side until I know for a fact. What's up, Mr. Bargains? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm dressed as She-Hulk. Thank you very much. Okay, Silver Surfer on this team, um, yeah, he's got Synergy, they're Cosmic Hero allies, and that gives him some benefits, some bonus focus, I believe. Um, going into Villain Cosmic ally, or Villain Cosmic enemies, or something, uh, gives him resistance or something, so it's interesting. Um, this is just a huge, huge team. They're basically gonna have to come into this team with uh, Fantastic Four and Namor, and probably with Silver Surfer also, like a total mirror match with Namor to beat this. Like, it, this is big. Um, you have Healer, Healer, Skirmisher, Striker, um, Healer on, on him. Oh, wow, Healer on Silver Surfer. That's interesting. That's actually really tough. 
On defense, him as a healer, especially when he has time to get going, he throws out a lot of heals. So that's actually pretty cool. I kind of like this. We're not docking for placement today. Um, I would like to see Sue as a skirmisher, though you dropped Johnny and went with somebody who is not a striker, so healer actually kind of works. This team has some survivability, barriers, tons of red stars, tons of... Uh, investment in this team i wouldn't recommend somebody investing this heavily in this team if you're starting out um this is like in my opinion like a 400 level team for for people today but this is this is i'm for an og player this is fantastic uh, no pun intended so i'm gonna go ahead and give you an a i think it's interesting i think it's a little different um mr fantastic might be moved to the outside on a placement swap but really it's not that bad so i'm, I'm gonna give you the a for that it's pretty crazy Team number 10 is the Heroes for Hire. I do not like your placement. Um, you could change Iron Fist to a Skirmisher, but you already overinvested in the healer, so don't change it. Everybody else's ISO is good. Uh, and it's a million point one. So um, I'm going to give you an A minus, uh, make a placement swap, and I can give you the full A for that. With this power level, Shang-Chi should be as far away from Luke Cage as possible. All right, that was Rude's. Uh, defense up episode if you would like to have your defense featured on defense up then please uh contact me on discord i won't be wearing costumes for all of these so if you're timid about that don't worry this is kind of a short-term thing we're just uh, celebrating some friends doing some really positive things in their life and uh yeah remember don't just have a good game be good to yourselves and others too and i'll catch you next time bye